Okay, so we're now on page 19, and I'm going to try to write as small as I can to make this all fit. But we have a... Oh, let's not use that marker. It's way too thick. It'll never fit. Okay, so we have cosine. Arctan just means tan to the negative 1 of 1 plus arc cosine of x. So we're not going to freak out. This is just our alpha and our beta. So I'm going to expand this formula. So I'm going to have cosine of arc tan of 1, cosine of arc cosine of x, and then that's going to be minus sine of arc tan of 1, sine of arc cosine of x. So we're just going to do this piece by piece. So this first piece arc tan of 1. Well, tangent equals 1 at pi over 4. So what I really have now is cosine of pi over 4. This next piece, cosine and arc cosine undo each other. They're inverses, so you just get x. This next piece right here, Again, arctan equals 1 at pi over 4, so we really just have minus sine of pi over 4. And then I'm going to have to copy down this last piece. This last piece right here, I'm going to have to keep the way it is. I'm going to have to deal with it in a second. So I have sine of arc cosine of x. Okay. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, so I now have root 2 over 2 times an x minus sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And I still have this ugly, nasty thing to deal with. So I still have to deal with this right here, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm dealing with that green piece, and so you have, well, that should have been the sine. You have sine of arc cosine of x. So we're going to start here on the inside piece. All arc function means is tell me the angle where it happens or find the angle so that it exists. So I'm going to draw a triangle and since the x is positive I'm going to draw it in the first quadrant. Remember arc cosine is restricted it cannot be on the bottom so I'm left with quadrant 1 and 2. Since it's positive I'm going to draw my angle in quadrant 1 and this x thing right here is like x over r. So x over r, cosine x over r is equal to this x right there over 1. So I now know that my x distance is called x and my radius is 1 and I'm now going to use Pythag. I'm going to do Pythag backwards. I'm going to do uh, c squared minus a squared. It's going to get me my b squared, where um, this side over here is what I'm going to call b. So I'm going to get 1 minus x squared equals b squared, or y squared, because that's the y side of the triangle. So when you square root it, you're going to find out that this side right here is going to be 1 minus x squared all under the square root. So now, what we can do is solve this problem. So what we had was root 2 over 2 times x minus root 2 over 2 and then um, we have to plug in what we had on the previous page right here. So we have to do sine of what we drew. And let me just draw it again real quick. This triangle we know is x1, and then this is 1 minus x squared. So sine of that triangle is going to be 1 minus x squared under the square root all over 1 because it's the y value right here over the r value. And if we wanted to clean it up a little bit, we could. So we have root 2 over 2 times an x minus, if you want to multiply this um, 2 in, you can, or you can just put 2 times 1 minus x squared all over 2. And if you wanted to one more time, you could make it one big fraction. So we'd have root 2 times x minus the square root of 2 times 1 minus x squared all over 2. 
And the directions just say write as an algebraic expression, so this is your final algebraic expression. Okay, so now let's do number five. Number five is a proving statement, so it says I'm going to have cosine of pi over 2 minus x. I need to prove that this equals sine of x. So again, you can only play with one side. So I'm going to start with the left-hand side, and I'm going to expand it. I'm going to get cosine of pi over 2 cosine of x my, oh no, sorry, plus sine of pi over 2 sine of of x. Well, if I go up here, cosine of pi over 2 is just a 0. That's just a 0. So 0 times cosine x plus sine of pi over 2 is 1 times sine of x. And then 0 times anything, this right here is just 0. So I have 0 plus sine x, which is really just sine x, and you just proved it. Yay, us! Okay, now we're on page 20, and on page 20 it says I need to simplify the fact that I have tangent theta plus 3 pi. So I'm going to use the sum and difference formulas for tangent to do this. So go to your trig formula sheet, you're going to find the sum and difference formulas for tangent, and it says that this is going to be equal to tangent, this is my alpha, and this is my beta. So I have tangent of theta plus tangent of 3 pi all over 1 minus tangent theta tangent of 3 pi. Tangent at 3 pi, the ordered pair at 3 pi, which is going to be right there, that ordered pair is negative 1, 0. And so when you find tangent there, 0 divided by negative 1, it's just equal to 0. So this piece right here is really just a 0, and this piece right here is really just a 0. So now on top I have a tangent theta plus nothing, so just tangent theta over 1, this is, right here is a 0. 0 times this piece is 0, so this whole piece is nothing. So really what you just have is tangent of theta. Okay, last problem. Last problem is going to be a little bit of what we can do it. So, you have to sum a difference formula twice. So I have sine of x plus pi over 4 plus sine of x minus pi over 4 equals 1. I need to solve. So we need to do the sum and difference, form um, sorry, sum and difference formulas twice. So this first piece is going to be sine x cosine pi over 4 plus cosine x sine of pi over 4. So what I just wrote right, right here is this, and I'm just going to clean that piece up. So this is really going to become a root 2 over 2 because cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, sine x plus root 2 over 2 cosine x. And now I'm going to clean this piece up right here. I'm going to do that down here so I can add it together. So then when you do this piece, you're going to get sine x cosine pi over 4 minus cosine x sine of pi over 4. And so this cleans up into root 2 over 2 sine x minus root 2 over 2 cosine x. And so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my two pieces together. So from the red piece, I had root 2 over 2 sine x plus root 2 over 2 cosine x plus root 2 over 2. This is from a purple stuff. Sine x and then minus root 2 over 2 
cosine x and this all equals 1. Well, this right here and this piece right here are going to cancel off. So now you have root 2 over 2 sine x plus root 2 over 2 sine x equals 1. There are two of the exact same pieces, so I really have two of them. So all you really have is you have 2 times root 2 over 2. The 2's cancel out, so you just have root 2 sine x equals 1. And you divide by the root 2, so you get sine of x equals 1 over root 2, which is the same thing as saying root 2 over 2. So x is going to have to be equal to. It is implied right here because there's no plus or minus sign. It's only the principal or the positive root. So we're only going to take the positive answers. So pi over 4, comma, 3 pi over 4. And there was an interval. So those are all the answers that I need to worry about. And now your notes are all done. Go back to Edmodo, and there's going to be one more video that you need to watch so that you make sure you get your homework problems right.